Hello, welcome back from a long break. You might not notice that I've not been making tutorials for months now, probably up to four months. The reason is because uh, I've been writing exams and doing other works. So anyways, welcome back and uh, in this tutorial we are going to be talking about conditional statements. That is, uh, excuse me, so we'll be talking about what conditional statements. Now, what conditional statements are? They are just used to transfer the execution of a program. Like if uh, you have a situation where you want to calculate the grade of a student. Now, you say if the grade of the student is what 100 or is above 90, that means the student has what A. Or if the grade is below uh, 25, that means the student has what uh, F or FX. So that is what a condition. And that is what we are going to be studying in these tutorials. So stay tuned and let's get started. One basic conditional statement we are going to be using or we are going to consider is what? If statement. We also have switch. But we are going to talk more about what? If statement. So if statement, they are used to transfer execution of what? Program. We have so many types of if. Like we have uh, the if then else statement. We have the if then else and if statement we also have the if then as if statement so with this uh tutorials we are going to be able to you'll be able to do what master these if statements so we have a problem here determining the score of a student now this is just like an algorithm for you to know what you're about to do so get the score from the student this is this place you get the score from the student then you check for the condition if the score that you that you if the score from the student is up to 50 that means the student passes but if it's not that means the student what fails so with this algorithm we are going to use the if statement to determine this problem so let's get started so I'll open my qbasic software then i will say just comment that determining the score of a student so that is just like uh, a comment so that one with this own display so what you need to do is to get the score from the students so there are so many ways you can get uh, input from users if you don't know how just check back our uh, previous tutorials and get acquainted with it before coming to this place so what you need to do is to type in input input score then uh, input score then the next one you use your if statement to determine the score if score is greater or equals to 50 what it means is if score is greater than 50 which is from 51 up or equals to which is uh, 50 equals to is 50 so if it is 50 or 51 upwards that means the student passes so we have what then pass so if you notice what we have here we said if score is greater or equals to 50 then print pass s print fail so what uh it what will happen here is that if the score of the student if the score that the student imputes is greater than 50 then it will print pass else it will print what fail okay i've uh, modified the code a little so now we have uh, input input enter any score then a semicolon then the variable name score then say if score is greater or equals to 50 then print pass else print four and if and then n now what it simply means is this if the score is greater than 50 that means the condition becomes true so it will then print what pass but if it's lower than 50 then the condition becomes false then it will now print what poor so this s uh, side or this s statement signifies the false the falsity of the word the condition while the if side signifies the truth the truthful side of what the condition so if you run this program now then uh, you type in something like 49 let me see someone scored 49 then press enter 
you see you have 4 because 49 is not up to 50 or 49 is lower than 50 but if uh, you type in something like 50 and above the person should be able to have a pass you type in 50 and above you have what pass because the condition is now true so that is uh, an if statement and you can do so many conditions with it so I uh, in our next tutorials we'll be able to talk about switch statement and then we'll go to looping statement so that when we want to create any condition with this uh, if statement it will be very very easy for us so uh, I think you understand and I'll see you later. Bye.